Hi there, and welcome back. So at this point, I hope you realize that implementing no uh, boundary conditions using code training is relatively easy, okay? So I want to show you, you know, that if you want to implement a boundary condition in the in the difficult way, you no know, high level programming, uh, it's quite tricky. So just to mention that here, you have that actual implementation and just to show you that you need to program something like that, okay? So this is a little bit tricky doing this. So see that you have here this file, the header. So this will actually implement a library, okay? For But this requires now knowing very well what you are doing, okay? So this is not very st straightforward. So see here all these classes that you have here, okay? And then here's where you do your actual implementation and so on. So this is not very straightforward and this is what we want to avoid, okay? This is the advanced stuff. So by using the code string, Okay, you need to do that. So see here that this, my parabolic velocity is exactly the same as we implemented in color string. So you avoid that. And here you have the paraboloid also, the one we did in 3D. So you will see that it's very, it's quite tricky not to implement it. So this is what we're trying to avoid. Okay, so now that just I show you know the difference between this and this, I want to show you something else as well. So besides this code string, you have some very specific boundary conditions in, in Open from call code fixed value and code mix. Okay, and like this also you have called FB models and stuff like that that you can directly program in F FB models. Okay, but the idea of this one is that it will use a notation that is even simpler. Okay, so already code string is sim simple. Okay, but now using this one is even simpler. And also the, the advantage that these very specific boundary conditions they will give you access to some additional information. Okay, so for instance. If you need to access time, okay, it's relatively easy to access time with these boundary conditions. Instead, using code string, it's not straightforward, okay, access time, okay. So I just want to show you, you know, in this, I will show you two cases. I will show you yeah, how to use it, and in particular, the advantage is now you can access time. So to program using code fixed value or code mixed value, basically again, you have a template, okay. So you have this template that you put in your boundary conditions and that's all. So this is exactly the same. You declare a scalars and see here that you access time like this and then you program your boundary conditions. So see that here you need to get the information of cell center, face centers, everything is already automatically computed here, okay? You have all the coordinates. So see that very straightforward, okay? It's much, much simpler notation. So let's go to address first this case. Now, so we're doing the, the 2D elbow, the one that we did with code stream, but let's use this color fixed value to use something uh, to add the time dependency, okay? So see that here, now this one is oscillating in time here, okay? So the implementation is pretty much the same. Okay, so let's go here and you go into color stream and here you have it. So as you open you, and you enter, voila. So this is where you implement your boundary condition, okay? So very straightforward, okay? So you, this is a dummy value that you for part of you. So here you are declaring this one and then you give it a name. So see that you give a name, it has to be a unique, uh, a unique name. And then here is where you do your actual implementation. So this, these are constants that I'm using. This is a standard, you can leave it as it is always access time and here is where you loop in all the faces that belong to this patch and here you implement whatever you want so see that here we have the time dependency sign t that's all uh here well you have a comment also that is you're using older versions you need to add this one but now in this new one you need at least for the very basic implementation you need to add it so you can implement something similar as well for this velocity inlet six okay so it's up to you so let's run this one <clears throat> by the way you can go okay let me do to the elbow sign that for an for an info and you go call it fit value and see that you're going to get more information here okay so 
always fun in for super health okay so here you have the source code look the location and some general information how to how to use it okay so let's run this one as you saw we have the script solver you put it there you see that it will do some compilation on the fly and that's all it's running in the same way so basically the the the, the, the difference between code string and code fixed values that now with code fixed value we have a notation that is much simpler and you can access time that's all okay so it's up to you okay so you can stick with the code code fixed value or you can use code string personally speaking i prefer to use code string because that is the generic way to program directly in input files, okay? Because it's, for instance, you can use this code string in the control di dictionary, in block mesh, in any other dictionary you can use it. Instead, code fix value is very specific to boundary conditions, but the outcome that you are going to get is exactly the same, okay? The difference in this case will be that with code fix value, we use it to access time that is not very straight straightforward to access using uh, uh, using the the color string so see that now we put it here and you see here the time dependence going in going out and remember that oh, to have velocity here in an inlet to have velocity going out you only can do it using fi a fixed value for velocity okay you cannot do it using mass flow or pressure okay it's just fixed velocity okay so let me go here and just to show you this you put your traditional vectors okay and let's scale scale okay apply and like this and see that press play and there you have your oscillation okay you can apply it now also if you want in inlet six or if you want to force it at the outlet that's all okay so, so you see very straightforward okay so now let's move to the other tutorial okay always call a fixed value okay this is a little bit more interesting okay we go now fully 3d okay so this is our final example so just to point out that you can get the same outcome using uh code string however if you need to access time it's not as straightforward so it's better to use code fixed value so here let, let's simulate let's do this simulation so now we're going to use interphone and see that we have this domain and imagine that we set up everything but we didn't set up this specific patch so what you can what you can do is you can go back do the remeshing do this patch selection so it can be a little bit time consuming but see that by using this code fix value can be very helpful because you don't need to create those patches you just select the faces so what we're doing here selecting these faces and then from those faces we're going to inject flow okay it's going to enter so we do something like this in the dictionary file u for velocity so see that we're using code fix value a standard template okay to access your variables okay so this is a copy and paste so remember Code fix value, value uniform, okay, so this is to use it, and this is the dummy value for power view. This is the unique identifying name for this boundary condition, okay, so it needs to be different. You have multiple boundary conditions using code fix value, this name needs to be different. And then here is where you put your code. So these three lines also standard, you're going to access all variables, and here is your actual implementation. So initialize variables, so see that I'm getting minimum set and y value so basically it's this okay access time and now this is my implementation so see that i'm using lo logical loops here i'm using if so you loop all over the faces and then if okay you put this conditional and then if time less than one put this otherwise put this okay so is the time is less than one inject the velocity where here okay and when the time is larger than one no more uh, no more velocity there in this phase selection but also we need to not not only velocity we're injecting we're also injecting the the water phase so see that now also we need to program in alpha dot water same patch we access the same information remember names needs to be different so here we call it inlet profile one here inlet profile two or whatever name but they need to be different and see that now it is an scalar so uniform zero a scalar value here it was vector value and also here you will see that okay uh, this one should be scalar okay let me update it okay it should be 
I know uh, CF is a vector because it's the coordinate, sorry. So see that these are coordinate and this is the field, okay? So this is C uh, CF, is uh, face center, so it's a vector X, Y, Z. And this color field, the one that you are using, which is alpha water. See here, you <coughs> assign value from the internal field, okay? So this is if you want to, this is like a zero gradient. And then initialize variables, okay? So this is the phase selection, like in the previous case, access time. And here is where we put that, okay? We inject, <coughs> here is where we're injecting the water, okay? So uh, in this phase selection, we have a velocity and also an alpha dot water a concentration, okay? So see that we put it and that's all. So your results will be something like that. So see that after one second, you stop injecting and that's all. But what is interesting that, and so see that also you have the injection here and you can measure the concentration. Okay, so let's go in this case that we have it located in field box BC, okay? So this is the final case that we're going to do. So let me do the mesh, okay, block mesh, just to show you, to point out that when at meshing time, we didn't select that square section where we're injecting the flow. The only thing that we have here, see that we have just this back wall okay so see back wall bottom wall front wall which this one left right and top so that is small selection we don't have it i'm actually when I'm applying that selection here okay so we can apply it here okay and this is why it can be very helpful you need to redo your mesh just do that that selection so let's run this case run solver okay and as i go here let me open so the only thing that changed here is this one so now remember another solver new files but the idea of programming the, the, the boundary condition is the same so see that you are in u velocity and see that in this specific patch is where we're going to do that 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 selection which is this one here so let me put this nicely with the nice in the eye intention and that's all okay so you apply it here p nothing to do in p and then we go alpha water this is the way here alpha water okay so something that here that you see the in here this is in, important to put it here because when you put it here and this is in particular for alpha water you are going to take the value the patch okay it's going to take the, the the value next to the internal field okay so this is kind of the the initialization if you don't put this one you are not going to get the value okay there so this is just for the initialization and mainly related with set fields okay we, well here we're not using set field but just to take the value next cell after it, 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 it is running okay so it might be a little bit confusing try to run with and without this one and you are going to see the difference of this one but basically take value for initialization take this one and then apply these values okay so the case is running it runs in the standard way so remember that this is multi-phase so you have all this stuff dynamic mesh so in this case it's set to static mesh i don't have any moving bodies we have gravity that is important you have momentum transport and transport models Okay, here you define water air. This is your primary phase. So therefore we're solving for alpha dot water and so on. Okay, so let's see this case will run, okay, two seconds. So at this point I can say that, okay, I will let it run a little bit. Let me open a new window here. Okay, parafont build end so the difference here uh, to remind you is that we're using the code fix value because accessing time with code string is not a straightforward okay but you can you could have done exactly the same using code string okay and actually there are ways around but just to show you, you have two options, okay? So this is the syntax, it's a little, it's a little bit more, much simpler than, than in, uh, 
in code string, okay, but it's still code string is easier. But I like code string because you can put it in any 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 other dictionary. Uh, okay, so let me go here, open here. So uh, 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 to explain well this one, so basically what is this one doing is that when you are is doing this, okay? So when you are in time zero. It will let you assign boundary conditions there. Okay, so you can see you advance one and then you apply. So basically, it will let you do the selection there. It's not straightforward to understand, but as I say, just comment it and you will see that the behaviors are, are different. So let's do something that in this case, see that you select these faces, the water is entering there with the given velocity. Okay, and let me select here. An isosurface. Let me change the color, and this is what is happening. Okay, it's entering water. Okay, in my given selection. Okay, pretty much easy piece. It's not a big deal. So, okay, let me stop here, and let me run. And actually, let's do this experiment. Okay, let me command this one, and let's run. And actually, yeah, I haven't tested this one. Did, let me test it because this was something with probably was something that you needed in OpenFont 8 and previous version to get it working now to get the right behavior. Okay, and uh, let me check. Uh, 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 control D, uh, 0 0.05. That's okay. It's almost there. And now we have a solution there. We launch Paraphon. Uh, 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 apply the compose case. Okay, and let's see alpha water. Okay, so you have there, but already see the difference here that actually the flow is not entering okay so see that you're applying there but it says that okay it is entering mm -mm. and it's entering with a different flow rate i think if i see here because previously already it's not applied, it says that it's not applying velocity that I chose, so let me go here. Oh, let me go here. Well, yeah, it is okay. So it appears that it's not necessarily, that was something that I needed in previous version, since that now it's not necessarily, but basically what it's doing is just, uh, it's just taking the, the field value here, Okay, you are taking the patch internal field. Okay, yeah, now I recall why you need it. Okay, see, yeah, you can, you need this one is you're using sec fields. Now I recall, if you have sec fields, you are going to the, to, to use this one because in sec fields, it will initialize. Okay, but sec fields initialize internal faces, uh, internal cells, it does not initialize and if in the, in the boundary patch. So you use sec fields to take, you use this one to take the value of sec fields, okay? So now I recall what I have, it. but in this case, you, you, you don't need it in theory. Okay. So let's see what's happening here. Okay. So now it's almost 0 0.5 seconds. So we have some, some time and let's see how the solution it is evolving. Remember the composed part, you go here, let me visualize the actual solution here in the cell center. So press play. Okay, and uh, here you have your water already hitting the bottom and everything since that work that is working right. Okay, so at this point, okay, this is so for this case. So you have these cases as you see very simple. So something interesting that is you want to play around with this specific case, you can take this case and the exercise that I can give you, try to make also the position of this patch time dependent. So you can move it all around the faces. So that is a really cool exercise. I already do it. So you have the patch and it will move here, then it will change here. 
So you just need to play with conditionals and you will need to put it in all phases and you can move that or you can move it also in this in this page in this patch you can have like a circular motion or whatever you can control the, polo the the position of that so this is where it becomes very powerful because having that patch that is moving like this in time something that you cannot do you know at patch in time so you just need you can do it programming so that's all for this case okay for boundary conditions using code string and code fixed value okay so in the next videos we're going to address code string but for initial conditions so thank you for your attention and see you next time bye